So Hal, I'm not sure, man. Maybe my Wi-Fi is slow. But that's the only Wi-Fi I've got, so don't know what to do. Alright, so I will do a countdown and we will start. Please join in. Um, it's 9 o'clock in the dot. Let's get this going so we can be done quickly. I'm going to do a countdown now, okay? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the courts are completely independent from the government, and those two are also completely independent from the folk, um, from the from the folketing. So power is shared with the government, the courts, and the folketing, and they are independent of each other. So four people got this wrong. Please get to know this is a um, frequently asked question. All right, moving on. Yes, so you cannot work unless you're at least 13 years old in Denmark, else it's classed as child labor. All right, so Anna B is at number one, De Panther number two, Zohal number three, TCT four, Chaos A five, MBA is the highest climber up 22 places. All right, next one. All right, this question is no longer relevant. I'm going to skip it. I'm skipping the question. Don't answer. I'm skipping. All right. <clears throat> um, Zohal back at number one, NBA number two, Depanther number three, Tarzan number four, Anna B number five. A38 is the highest climber up 16 places. Okay, next one. Okay. You saw this in the previous Kahoot. Okay, so for the four people that got this wrong, please go and make that list I suggested, okay? Make a list of the tasks that the commune is, uh, is responsible for, tasks that the states are responsible for, tasks that the regions are responsible for, because they ask about these things quite frequently, as you've seen. Okay, the Panther fallen all the way to number five, Tarzan now on the podium at number three, Anna B is making her way back up now at number four. DJ is the highest climber up six places. Next one. Um, Ahmad, I think they removed it from the book. Okay, I'm surprised that uh, some people are still getting this wrong. Okay, so... Yeah, so the Danish Commonwealth. Dansk Riesfellerscape, right, is made up of 
Greenland, the Faroe Islands, and Denmark. And this type of question comes in many different variations. They ask sometimes which of the following countries are not part of the Riesfeld escape. And sometimes they say which ones are part of the, the Riesfeld escape. So please pay attention to the question. Make sure you read it slowly, understand the question, then go ahead and answer. All right, Zohal number one, NBA number two, Depantha number three, Tarzan number four, S8 number five. Magu is the highest climber up four places. All right, next one. Everyone should know this by now. This was in the previous Kahoot, so I'm expecting everyone to get this right. Except one person. Okay, now you know what you don't know, the one person, or if it was a mistake, hopefully it was. Anyways, on to the next one. Zohal is on fire, and yet he still lost his number one spot to NBA. But Zohal is on fire still. Oh my! He's on fire! Okay, next one. I've seen this before. Only the members of the church pay tax. Pay church tax. Sula has the highest answer streak of seven. Excellent. Next one. five to six years. This is a frequently asked question. So please get to know this, okay? For the 12 people that got this wrong. So Hal is back, NBA number two, the Panther number three, Tarzan, YL. Anna B is making a comeback with three in a row. This girl is on fire. All right, next one. Let's try to get through this quickly. Let's see if we can finish this by half past nine. Okay, it's the right to create a foraining. Um, I would suggest making a list of all those rights because they ask about different ones at different times. For the three people that got this wrong, please make that list. Next one. Okay, so it looks like a competition between Zohal and MBA. MBA is leading Zohal by five points now. And everyone else is holding their positions. Magu is the highest climber up three places. Next one. Okay, so um, I would suggest that you make a list of all the political parties in parliament and the dates that they were created. This question, sometimes they ask which, which of the following political parties is the oldest. Sometimes they ask which of the following political parties is the newest. So if you make that list and sort them by the date they were created, you would know the answer to this question. Dansk Folk Party was created in 1995 as, uh, uh, what do they call What's that word? Spin-off of um, the Farmskrit party, which was a protest party. Okay, on to the next one. Robert is the highest 
climber up seven places. Next one. Yes, so in 1933, this was the time of the Great Depression. Torvald Downing was the Social Democratic Prime Minister, and he was the one that made this settlement at his office on Kanslergel, which is the reason why it's called the Kanslergel Settlement. All right, on to the next one. Zohal is back at number one, NBA number two. YL up to number four, everyone else is holding their positions. MH has an answer streak of three. Excellent. Next one. Yes, it was characterized by an arms race, a nuclear weapons arms race. The Cold War between the Soviet Union and the USA. Static top five, Shaji is the highest climber up four places. August Bonanville. So this is part of um, chapter five. So I'd suggest, you know, make a lot of the new questions, right? When, when there are new questions, which there will be, a lot of them come from chapter five. And um, so make a list of all the artists, all the musicians, all the directors, everybody basically. And what they did, what they're, what they're famous for, what they designed. And um, if you have that list, then questions like this would be a breeze for you. On to the next one. All right, 838 is on the podium at number three. The Panther at number four, Tarzan number five, Zohal NBA holding number two, number one and two. AMA is making a comeback three in a row. She, is it a he or she? Uh, she's on fire. This girl is on fire. Yes. Okay, so Ole Roma um, came up with a way to measure the speed of light. Niels Bohr is responsible for the model of the atom. H.C. Austell is for electromagnetism. So if you actually knew what these two guys were responsible for, you could eliminate both of them and land on this. All right. I can see a lot of people got this wrong. How many people... 27 so just over half of you got this wrong so please this this is from chapter five make a list of um all you know this all the areas performing arts the painters the scientists the writers the poets everybody make a list of what they did and questions like this would be a breeze okay okay so 838 is out now, De Panther back and podium at number three, Tarzan number four, Wild number five. It's static at number one and two. Anna B is back with a nasty streak of three. She's on fire. This girl is on fire. Okay, next one.
Paul Schluter from the Conservative People's Party was the Prime Minister from 82 to 93. And he's been the only Prime Minister from the Conservative People's Party. Seven people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Ponak is back in the game. Excellent. Berlinsk. I can't remember what year, but it's super duper old. This is frequently asked, so please get to know if you got that wrong. Um, let's see. SA is back with an answer streak of three. Perfect. Next one. We're almost halfway. Okay, only one person got this wrong. 240,000 refugees came from Germany after the end of the Second World War. Shaji is back with an answer streak of three. Oh my! He's on fire! Ahmad, uh, you know, yes, it's a relevant question, but honestly, it doesn't help. Just practice, man. Okay, um, a minister does not have to be a member of parliament. Ministers are appointed by the prime by the prime minister, and there is no obligation for all the ministers to be members of parliament. SD is back with an answer streak of three. Moving on, we're almost halfway through. From the 1500s. Frequently asked question. Nine people got this wrong. Get to know this. Martin Luther's ideas came to Denmark in the 1500s. I think specifically 1536, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so we're halfway through now. SK is back with an answer streak of three. If Zohal catches fire, he gets an explosion. Next one. You've seen this before. Two percent. Okay, you need at least two percent. Static top five. Yes, so Denmark's fleet was captured by the Brits in 1807 during the Napoleon Wars. Omid is back with an answer streak of three. Oh, He's on fire! A 
you're mad. There's no, <laughs> bro. You're preaching to the choir, man. We we all feel the same, you know. So there's no. Anyways, what's this about? Yeah, this is Lila Belt. It's uh, the, there's two, right? So the first one was is from the 1930s. The second one is the 70s, and then Star Belt is in the 90s, and Austin is in 2000. So they ask about these bridges. Okay, next one. F now is in the top five at number five. Three players just hit an answer streak of nine. On to the next one. Okay, so this is good. Only one person got this wrong. Next one. This is one of the most frequently asked questions. Andels Bevelsen, 1800s. The farmers came together, mostly the dairies. They pooled their resources to buy what they needed, and that way they were more efficient. All right, moving on to the next one. Ash is making a comeback with three in a row. Excellent. 25 now. All right, so there was a referendum in 1922 and Denmark was reunited with Sunni Yuland, which they lost after the Second Schleswig War in 1864. This is a frequently asked question. Get to know this. Okay. Konak is making a comeback with three in a row. I'm sure at this point, the people that have been practicing with us are noticing that I'm beginning to sound like a broken record. It's for a reason, okay? I keep saying the same thing over and over again. The brain learns by repetition, and that is the key to passing this exam. Repeat, 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 until it registers in your brain. You will go to the exam. If you've done all the, the right preparation, you've read the book, you've done the quizzes, you will be done with the exam in five minutes. And you'll actually realize that this exam is not hard. Okay? I'm saying that because there's a lot of stuff going on in the chat right now and people are complaining about stuff. But the way you get through these things is to get over them. Okay? Ponak is making a comeback with three in a row and he's on fire. Oh my! He's on fire! Next one. Christian the Fourth built Rotorn, Rosenburg, Slot, Christiansborg, and a whole bunch of other places. He's the most famous king in Denmark. And his statue is right in front of parliament. Next one. Ahmad, there's no... <laughs> okay, let me just say this. Uh, there's, you know, there's 45, there's 45 days to the exam. A lot of people are nervous. Yes, I understand that. I was nervous when I had to take this exam. However, when I started playing the cahoots 
there was just seven of us. And we started coming together to practice together. And within the third week of practice, we realized that the exam wasn't difficult. And there was no need to be nervous. So the way to overcome your nervousness is practice. Okay? Tarzan has the highest answer streak of 26. Wow. Wow! Okay. Um, where are we? We have 14 questions to go. I'm a, Ahmad, you'll be all right, man. Just practice and read the book. Okay? There's nothing to be afraid of. The royal family's home is called Amelian Ball. It's in Copenhagen, close to Kongsnito. All right. Three in a row, Shaji is back in the game and he's on fire. Oh he's Next on one. Okay, so this is the most frequently asked question. If there's any question you need to know the answer to, it is this, okay? This is the year that women got the right to vote in Denmark, 1915. So for the six people that got this wrong, please, if there's anything you need to know, it's this. Next one. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Didn't have the answer page. Anyone else? Why? Okay, I'm not sure what's going on with Arif. Um, Zohal has the highest answer streak of 28. He's on fire. He has 100% and he's number one. So he gets an explosion. Okay. That was for Zohal. We're moving on to the next one. Sorry, Arif, man. These things happen sometimes. Carl Nielsen is the most famous composer and famous for his operas. Carl Nielsen, and he shows up in a lot of the exams. This is frequently asked. Nine people that got this wrong, please, please, please get to know this. On to the next one. So Hal, you got the explosion, man. Three in a row, Pankaj is back in the game and he's on fire. Oh he's on All right, fire. we're almost at the end. You guys are doing well. You guys are doing really well, okay? I know the exam is coming closer. People are nervous. But don't let your nervousness overcome you. Okay? The way to overcome that nervousness is to practice even more. The more nervous you are, the more you should practice. You have all the resources that you need. Practice the quizzes and read the book. I know that book is boring. It's tedious to read but just find a way to read the book and make notes and you will be fine. Um, Susanna Beer is, yes, okay. So like I said, this is to re-emphasize re re um, what I said the last time. Sometimes new questions pop up. This is one of them. This is from 2000 and I can't remember what year this is. 19 or something and um they usually come from chapter five so what i would what i would recommend is please go to chapter five and make a summary of that whole chapter all those people and all their achievements and all the things that they created in all the categories art writing music performance arts architecture science and the rest okay 
so that when these questions pop up, you will be okay. Okay, so Dipantha is now at number five. Tarzan on the podium at number three. F at number four. Zohal is holding number one. Four players just hit an answer streak of five. Excellent. On to the next one. Homosexuals got the right to be married in the church in 2012. This is a frequently asked question. So please get to know this. MBA on fire, highest answer streak of 31. That's a perfect score, but he is not number one, so he only gets this. Oh my, he's on fire! All right, on to the next one. So Hal has been putting in the work. He's reading the book and he's doing the practice. He's going to pass for sure. And the results show every week. That's the reason why we see him at number one all the time. You're definitely going to pass, man. You'll see. You'll be done in five minutes. This is a frequently asked question. Yepa Biegel was written in 1722 by Ludwig Holbier. Five people got this wrong. Please get to know. On to the next one. We are almost at the end of history, close to um, current affairs. I don't need to talk too much about this top five. Arif is back with an answer streak of three, and he's on fire. Oh my, he's on fire! Next one. You already know this, okay? I'm expecting a perfect score from everyone in this. Read it slowly and then answer. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> Yeah, read the question slowly and then answer. In 1849, Denmark Denmark's Rieskundlo was created by Frederick the 7th. All right, next one. Tarzan is out, essay is in. Everybody else is holding their positions. AMA, AMA is back in the game. Three in a row. Excellent. Next one. Yes, the Danarum was written by Saxo in 1200. It was written in Latin. Sometimes they ask what language it was written in. It was written in Latin and not uh, Danish. Ellie is the highest climber up three places. All right, so this is the last history question. Then we'll be moving to current affairs. <clears throat> Klaus Riftia wrote Konisk on Usku. So, like I said, right? Go to chapter five and make a list of all those people, what they wrote in all the categories. Make a summary of that. Because for sure, you're going to see a question from that chapter five this year and it's probably going to be a question you've never seen before okay so we're moving on to um current affairs pay attention to the theme of the question this is in the past so i do not expect you to know the correct answers to these questions however pay attention to the theme we'll be talking about the theme 
for each question. Tarzan is back in the top five. Omid is the highest climber up three places. Okay. Current affairs. This is still relevant, actually. Okay, so the theme of this question is political parties and their leaders. In this case, they're asking for the leader of Venstra. And the leader of Venstra is Jakob Elemen Jensen. He is still the leader of Venstra at the moment. On to the next one. All right, Zohal is on fire. 36 correct answers in a row. So that's 100% so far. He is number one. And he's on fire, so he gets his second explosion. Okay. Let's have a look at the next one. We're almost done. Okay, so like I said, it doesn't really matter if you get this wrong. What matters is the theme. Now, the theme of this is state visits, okay? So state visits being either the head of state, which is um, Queen Margaret II, or the leader of the government, which is Meta Fredrickson at the moment, visiting some other country officially, or other heads of state, or prime ministers or presidents visiting Denmark. So those are notable events for, notable relevant current events for the exam, okay? I do not think, actually, I think there was some, I don't want to start speculating, but I think there was someone visited Denmark recently, I can't remember. Okay, next one. We all know this. We all know who this is. Yes, so the theme of this question is the government. So the government being the prime minister and his or her ministers. So um, it's relevant. However, there is an election on November the 1st. It's likely that we're not going to have the same prime minister and ministers. I don't know. Maybe there might be, maybe, maybe there might not be. but. With that said, I'm not sure they're going to ask about the prime minister and his or her ministers in this exam. I think they're going to ask about elections because you, you already know the focusing election is the most important election in, Germ in, in Denmark. I almost said Germany. What am I saying? Anyways, moving on to the next one. Um, Ahmad Ali is back in the game with an answer streak of three and he's on fire. There you go, Ahmad. Oh, my! He's on fire! Good work, man. Keep up the good work. Okay, two questions to go, and we're moving on. Okay, so the theme of this question is some kind of big event on the world stage that has consequences for Denmark. The one, the one big event that's, is, that has consequences for Denmark is the war in Ukraine at the moment. So that is a possible source of questions for current affairs. However, bear in mind, there's only five questions in the current affairs, so anything could come out. But like I said, just pay attention to the themes and keep an eye out in the news for um, news items that fit those themes. All right, we're moving on to the last question and we're done with this. At the moment, we have Zohal, NBA, F, D Panther, and Tarzan in the top five. 
Ellie is back with a nasty streak of three and she's on fire. And we're going to the last one. So the theme of this is a Dane doing excellent on the world stage, either in politics, sports, or whatever. Recently, a Dane won the Nobel Prize. I can't remember if it's in chemistry. I think so. So that is a possible question in the current affairs. Okay. All right. So that was the last question for tonight let's have a look at the podium and then we'll have a look at everyone else so f almost perfect score mba and of course our dear zohal at number one panther number four and tarzan at number five